Shalom, I'd like to say all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. My name's Connor Walk from GMS Toronto. Here, um, doing another lesson. Um, you know, um, today is just in regards to this um, apostle Gino Jenkins, which uh, he's not a real apostle, all right, because he doesn't have the full understanding of the scriptures. So he should just take that word, uh, that title off of his name. You know, but um, he's been uh, going into like uh, certain scriptures and stuff. Like, um, I believe he uh, he was the guy who jumped off the stage, off his uh, pulpit, on the Caesar Borgia image, what people worship, and was teaching our people that that's not the real image of the Lord, which is correct. You know, so um, obviously, like this guy, he 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 uh encountered the Israelites whether online or on the street and um, he uh, studied certain things and now he's teaching it to his congregation so uh, I don't know if he has that tax exempt status still which he most likely does but um, he's uh, basically uh, he's teaching his congregation that they're Israelites basically so to speak and uh, condemning certain things and I wonder who he got that from you know um and um yeah man that was just something that i observed and stuff um and stuff and you know the most i is um using certain people to expose certain things man and the most and uh, a lot of these pastors are gonna get exposed and um taken out man all right because the lord the lord's not dealing with you pastors man and even this guy, um, if he doesn't get right, because if he knows a lot of these, if he knows the scriptures, or if he knows certain scriptures and stuff, he's supposed to teach everything and fully, you know, and he's supposed to get right. So, um, you know, he better be careful on how he's using the scriptures, you know, because he's not he doesn't he does he's not growing a beard and stuff, you know, wearing that suit and tie and shit, you know. You're supposed to be teaching our people the full thing. You know, you're supposed to be teaching Israel the full thing, man. You, you, like, you don't pick and choose what you want to teach, you know what I mean? It says, uh, Jeremiah 23 and 1, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. All right, and that's what these uh, pastors are doing. You know, they're just taking people's money and they make merchandise. They're using the church as a business and an enterprise instead of um, teaching people the real way of truth and the light. You know, they're not teaching the people it's true and sound doctrine, man. You know, they are uh, basically, they play off people's emotions by singing songs, dancing all day, and all day, you know, reading maybe a uh, couple of scriptures, quoting scriptures, like one verse, <laughs> you know what I mean? And then singing and dancing, chucking and driving. You know, that's what church is basically about. And a whole bunch of scandals and stuff is going on in these churches. And, uh, for example, there's a show what Oprah Winfrey produced, you know, where it's called Greenleaf. Uh, a, brother, uh, a brother put me onto this show in the camp on Saturday. Today is November. Um, November. Or sorry, it's December, man. December. December 3rd, Sunday. A brother put me on. To this yesterday man i'm on like my second episode and it's very interesting this was written in or this was uh executively uh like produced by oprah oprah winfrey and it's exposing the church the whole black christian church the cover-ups what go on the whole uh hypocrisy scandals inside the church and it's deep you know your brother should check that out as well man the show greenleaf on netflix or you could go on your android box or type it on your internet you could watch it online yeah this show exposes this whole black christian church you know which is a very good show to watch you know and um i don't know I, I, there's only two seasons out i'm on the first two episodes of the first season i don't know what else it brings out but um definitely um if it gets better i i know i make some commentary about the whole uh overall um two seasons you know and my my uh my thoughts and opinions you know share it with you guys you know um 
Slug, yeah. Yeah, man. So therefore, thus have the Lord power, again, thus have the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. You have scattered my flock and have driven them away and have not visited them. Yeah, you scattered the flock. All right, because we're known as the lost sheep. We're known as sheep, you know, and we're the lost sheep who don't have a shepherd right now. All right, and you people are, you pastors are scaring us. But a lot of you guys, you guys know that you're, you guys know that you're Israelites, you know, but like whether you, uh, like whether back in the 80s or 70s, you guys might, may have seen certain brothers on the highways and byways, you know, certain, uh, like high priest Arya and stuff, uh, high, high priest, I, uh, Masha or King Masha and, um, high priest Yaikwab and all these, um, uh, former, uh, great men who've uh, passed, some of them passed, some of them still here. I'm sure a lot of you guys saw th these men preaching, or you may have ran across uh, the apostles of Great Millstone, or or brothers out throughout the different states or world, and you guys don't have no excuse. And you guys have done the research, and you see that we're, you see what we're saying is the truth, but you guys are willingly um, teaching lies, man, and the Most High is going to destroy you guys, man. Says I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries where the sorry says uh you have scattered my flock and have driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, of the Lord, and I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries where I have driven them. I will bring them again to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase, and I will set up shepherds over them which shall, shall feed them. And they shall fear no more. And that's what's going on right now. You know, the Most High sent up his shepherds, his elect, you know, uh, men who's out there on the highways and byways teaching, you know, mainly of a great mean, a great millstone who's teaching sound doctrine, who's not swaying. We're not, we're not hypocrites because if there is uh, any hypocrisy in our congregation, we just either get rid of it, you know, and um, we, tr we stick to the script. You know, and the Most High is gonna set up shepherds. You know, he's 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 raising us up now, but eventually, once this whole kingdom is destroyed and um, the Most High's empire is established, the kingdom of Israel is established upon earth, where uh, we're gonna have dominion upon this earth and domain, and these other nations are gonna be our subjects. The Most High is gonna have his elect as the ruling government, man. You know, he's gonna have his uh. You're going to have Yahweh Shai, who's going to be the ultimate king, then King David, the 12, the 12, um, the 12 disciples, you know, and then um, you're going to have the, you're going to have the governments under them, you know, the hundred and four, the, um, you're going to have the rest of the 144,000, you know, who's going to have domain and that rulership or shepherd or, or who's going to be ult the ultimate shepherds, you know, in the kingdom. You know, and that's what's gonna happen, man. And um, here, and and this is the spirit. This this is verse five for Jeremiah twenty three. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his day, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And that's how you know the people in the land of Israel ain't the real Jews, cause it says. Israel shall dwell safely, man, and Judah shall be saved, man, all right? And that's the time that we're coming to. This prophecy hasn't been fulfilled, and it's um, going to be fulfilled very soon. And this is his name, whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. The Lord liveth, which brought up the children, which... But the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, all right, which this land, um, America or Canada, they're known as North America, all right? So, you know, so like this is prophecy that hasn't been fulfilled and it's going to be fulfilled very soon. Whether, and from all countries, whether I had driven them, because Israelites are scattered all throughout the earth and they shall dwell in their own land. You know, and um, this whole chapter is beautiful, man. You know, and um, 
with that, I'd like to say our praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Death and destruction to you wicked pastors. You 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 uh you wicked camps out there teaching lies. You know, and um and this guy Gino Jennings, you better get right, man. Ultimately, and don't pick and choose what you want to preach, man. And with that, I'd like to say our praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the brothers out there doing the works in truth and in sincerity. And I like to say, Kwame Rasha Allah, man. Shalom.